Hello. I'm sorry, I lost track of time. I'm late, so I'll probably make this a bit shorter. And make this a bit shorter. I'm not the only one looking at the room who lost track of time. Conversations on over lunch, so okay. I may have to do this a bit shorter for the next presenter. I was looking at the agenda, I'm not sure who is. Is any of you next presenter? You? No. no. Okay. Good. Okay, so I'll be started. I think I'll have 10 minutes. If... Okay. So today's session is about the management system, which is an app we have in the OCA. I don't think there's an equivalent in Odoo, even in enterprise. And I'm going to talk a bit more about what this app does, what are the features included. So before I get started, a bit about me. So I, I work at Open Source Integrators. I'm the Managing Director for Europe. I work based in, in Lisbon, Portugal. I'm also an OCA board member. I'm author, author of a few uh, Odoo development books. And uh, I may know some things of Taekwondo, so yeah. Um, our agenda for today is um, we'll go through a brief introduction and then I'll just do a walkthrough over the main features available through the uh, management system modules. <clears throat> so what's the management system project? It, it, it provides support for uh, ISO style uh, management systems. So it helps you with the compliance of those systems. Examples are ISO 9001, the quality management, uh, environment uh, uh, management, ISO 1401, uh, uh, hygiene and safety, information security, and so you could add other certifications that follow the kind of same requirements for managing this, this kind of systems. Uh, uh, while I was preparing, I noticed how old this project is. This goes back to Launchpad. I tracked it. These modules have been consistently being ported since version 6.1. So this is more than 10 years old. And it's been by different people in different moments uh, being consistently uh, uh, migrated to newer versions. So this, this was amazing. Um, here is just a brief overview of the settings. So you can see at the top that you have the management systems modules already providing some basic support for different management systems like quality and, and uh, hygiene and safety. So it adds some basic features there. And then what you can manage, the scope is also split in modules. So you have actions, non-conformities, audits, all those features you can enable to here. Of course, you can go there and m manually install each of these modules, but now with the, with the settings, so this is just an easy way for install additional features, additional modules into the management system app. So a uh, key thing is it supports an integrated management system. So uh, one thing is you, you, you are certified for quality management system. But then you also want to have a certification on environment and suddenly you don't have one system, you have two, and you want to run an integrated management system. So um, then you need to keep track of the requirements, individual requirements for each system and individual actions that relate to each system. So it's, it's just here you, you can do the integrated management of all those systems on the same app. Um, so the basic elements here is at the configuration you can create, declare the systems you use. Uh, so m some of those models just create some data elements there, but you can go there and create. Uh, that's quality, environment, uh, uh, hazards. And then you have a documentation area. Uh, it's a menu where you can create the manual, which is kind of the overarching document explaining how you comply with the requirements, high level. And then you have the procedures, which add all the details for each process in your organization, how you meet the requirements specifically on that area. So this is the basic, the backbone of documenting how you meet the requirements. And then you have the day-to-day -day activities that are required for you to show that you are conforming to the requirements. 
So one of these system reviews. So these are management reviews where there's a meeting, a committee comes together, and they get you some inputs like surveys, the results from audits, what, what has happened, uh, complaints, all that kind of feedback. And it's, it's the part of the uh, um, introducing improvements back to the system. So it's part of the feedback system. So these are the system reviews. And you have an area, a menu, where you can create the system review and enter all the data. Who were the participants? What were the inputs considered for that review? What are the outputs? And you have their actions, possible non-conformities identified, other notes, uh, and the conclusions. So this is a way for you to document and keep a record of these activities. Uh, <clears throat> then you have audits external or internal audits, so it allows you to keep a record of the audits performed on the organization. So there you have spaces to record who were the auditor team, who was, were the audited people. Uh, you can add a verification checklist, so what questions should be asked, what things should be verified, what are the strong points identified, things to improve that were identified, and then also produce a list of actions to be implemented based on the audit findings. Uh, of course, so these are some direct actions and you have the non-conformities that may be found and then, then need to be managed. So that's the next step. Out of an audit, audit you get the non-conformities and need to manage those, make sure that all of those are addressed uh, and each of those non-conformities have an action plan that needs to be uh, implemented and implemented in an effective way so that it resolves the nonconformity. <clears throat> so there's a menu with option, with, with the screen, where you can record this information. Nonconformities and feedback, so that's, that's one uh, important process. So you can record the nonconformities that are found, and you kind of have a draft stage where you can record feedback that may or may not become a nonconformity. So you can use this, this records to uh, record, record feedback into the system, like a, a, a customer complaint. It might not become a conformity. It might become a conformity, but you can create a record here and decide what to do and use the nonconformity -conform, non process, even though it's not technically a, a real nonconformity on the system. But still, you may want to record that you implemented some action either to solve that particular case for the customer, which is the immediate action, or to avoid this, this complaint to happen in the future, which would be uh, the action plan or a preventive action. <clears throat> so the non-conformities process allows you to, as I said, um, uh, decide an immediate action, which is to solve this issue at hand. It does not affect the system itself. Uh, identify the related procedure, so what was the procedure that was uh, uh, not con uh, in non-conformity, uh, where was the problem, and possibly all the, uh, related audits, because audits produce non-conformity, so you can keep that link. No, okay, this non-conformity is here because it was found on that audit. And then part of the process, it has several steps process. You can see the uh, pipeline over there. And the next step is to identify the causes, make an analysis, and decide an action plan, and assign those actions to people for implementation. And later on in the stage, it's to verify that the actions were implemented, that the results of those actions were effective, and that the non-conformity can be closed. So we have your process, and we can know which ones are open and what's the status of, of each of them. So finally, you heard about actions. All, most of these elements create actions. And that's kind of what I like a lot about this model. All those actions go to the same place. They're kind of the same record. So you have a single place of record where everything that needs to be done by someone is there. And you have a task like Kanban view just like you have on project tasks, for example, or CRM. So you can see the status of each task, who is assigned the task, and what's going on. And this flow from nonconformities, from reviews, from you can even 
create just out of the blue an action and assign them a track on this single dashboard. <clears throat> uh, you can also identify, of course, the types so of their immediate, corrective, preventive, improvements, so you can have a, a good classification of your, your actions. Um, the uh, uh, man management system app works together with a separate app, which is the knowledge uh, app. So at some point, Odoo had a documents app. They removed it. I know that they're announcing on version 16 to bring back uh, a brand new knowledge app. But this has been all this since version 6.1. We're keeping this um, uh, document app. And it's a place where you can record the documentation related to the system. And it has some basic features of history tracking, because there are some requirements on managing documents in, in ISO um, norms. So you have a history, a tracking of versions. You have an approval system for, for document versions. It's, um, uh, it's, it's based on rich, rich HTML fields in Odoo, so it's not a rich management system, but it can get the job done in a simple way. So you might want to use something external, a real document management system. If you don't want to go to that trouble, maybe this is a decent enough solution for, for your uh, documentation needs. One more thing that was added recently is a hazards and risk evaluation uh, feature. There, for uh, industrial environments or food and safety or other environments, you can keep track of uh, um, jobs or work positions and do a an risk analysis, uh, risk evaluation, uh, re keep a record of the control measures you've taken, what tests need to be done uh, to ensure that it's within safety limits. So there's a quite complete uh, uh, hazards and risk evaluation feature here that was added to support the OHSA. Uh, I, yeah, it's, it's back there. So the health and safety regulations. <clears throat> and where can you find this? So the management system modules can all be found on that repo, OCA management uh, minus system. And it has a dependency. Some of the modules have a dependency on the documentation app. So you might need to have installed in, available in your system the knowledge repo to. And that should be enough to um, get all these features I showed you today. Uh, without installing your system, remember we have run both. So there's a button on the readme of the management system repo. If you try the, the purple button, try me or run both, the, there's a link here too. And you can jump to an instance and try whatever what you saw here, try it out. My goal today, well, I get people saying, okay, how do I use this? What, what's here? What are the futures? It just give you a high level uh, view of what are the futures, how they relate, and then you can find your way, of course. Every management system is different. You will use it differently in each organization. But you have here a common set of tools that will allow you to support these common things that are needed on any management system, like record audits, reviews, nonconformities, uh, um, um, actions, uh, manage those actions. And of course, there's a, a, a few more specialized features I didn't show. There have been contributions to link this to manufacturing and actually control quality uh, from manufacturing processes, uh, defects, so link to that process. I didn't show it here. But there's a few more futures, and there's now and then new contributions. It's been an active project. Um, so it's been a live project, even if there's not much activity every day, but it's been consistently kept. So I, I, I believe there's a good group of people depending on it out there, and it's, uh, I believe that will be continue to be supported in future versions. And even in Enterprise Edition, there's, nothing, uh, there's no alternative to this, a good alternative to this. And OK, I think I'm five minutes over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, Frederick is there. So I, I can take a question. Just, well, you can come, Frederick, set up, please. Just one question. You just mentioned manufacturing. Can this module be used as an alternative or the quality No, no, it's a different perspective. It's from the management system. So why are those quality problems being introduced? How can we solve them? It's not like on the shop floor, you make sure that the, that individual product is meeting the measurements it should. It's, it's a different approach. So it's not an alternative. But we also have the alternative. In OCA manufacturing, we have quality control modules that are an alternative That's, for enterprise. That's a good answer here. So that future, there's an OC alternative for that. It's not in this repo, uh, but there's a, in the manufacturing repo, you have an alternative for that. Okay? Mm. There's one more question. Yeah, you can do the setup. Have you been Yeah, so what Maxime used this for his own certification on his company. I actually, I, I, I'm not a user of it today. I, I prepared a uh, proof of concept for a company I was working with. It, it filled all the requirements, it just for other reasons didn't go ahead. But again, the certification is about making sure you can show you meet the requirements to the auditor. It's not about the tools, if it's paper, if it's digital. Yeah. It's, it's more about that, making sure. And, uh, but yes, this is uh, at the level, it's usable for actual certification scenarios. Okay, thank you.